Okay, uh, welcome anatomy students. This is dissection number eight, the superficial lateral arm muscles. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the muscles of the superficial lateral arm, basically this entire side here. You might notice in this video right now, the dissection is already done, so I figured we'd do something a little different this time. Let me first show you what the dissection should look like when you're finished. You'll see there is a muscle here. There's a muscle here that I have actually cut off. So you can see the other end of it over there. There's also a muscle down in there, a muscle here. So let's go through the ones. Up here is the triceps brachii long head, triceps brachii lateral head, triceps brachii medial head. Down here is the anconius. Over here is another muscle. You see it kind of running like a ribbon. This is the brachioradialis. The next muscle runs down like this. This is the extensor carpi radialis. Then we have the extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis, and then extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these extensor muscles that we're going to be working on here today, okay? So let's begin the video. Let me rewind the 10 minutes it takes for this. All right, so that's what we start with. So let's start play on this thing, and let's take a look at how this dissection goes. All right, you can see I'm starting up here, getting that triceps brachii lateral head, kind of an important one to get started on right here. You can see I'm getting my probe underneath it. It's going to be a lot of connective tissue. In fact, if you got that connective tissue off for the spinotrapezius, uh, I mean, sorry, the spinodeltoid, that same layer is going to come down as you got that spinodeltoid and the chromodeltoid. Continually pull off that white stuff to get yourself underneath the triceps brachii lateral head. So you can see I'm kind of working my back side of it first. Now I'm going to work on the front side. I do want to share, I want you to be kind of careful right here. There is a muscle that's attached up here and it runs down. That was that brachioradialis that I believe you guys all located when you were pulling the skin off. Just be really careful. It says so in the directions. Well, do not cut that muscle. Be really careful. All right, super important right there. All right. So I'm going to get underneath the front part of the triceps brachii lateral head. You're actually going to be able to get your probe all the way underneath it. That's the goal eventually here. You're going to get your probe underneath the triceps brachii lateral head. Okay, get my probe underneath it. I'm careful not to hook anything down deeper. It's a very thick muscle. In fact, right there, you can actually see right where the probe is, you can see the medial head. I don't get this out of the way. You see the medial head, you see the long head. So long head, medial head, lateral head. The three different triceps, obviously triceps being three. Okay, so I'm gonna get underneath the triceps lateral head, make sure it's freed up back and forth. And that's actually gonna be cut in half. That's pretty much the only muscle we're cutting here on this dissection. When you cut that up, you just go right in the middle, right in between where it starts and ends. Peel it up, peel it down. Okay, again, at this stage, you should see all three triceps muscles. All right. Notice by peeling this thing down at the very bottom, let's highlight this, you're going to see a little bit of a darker region about right there. It's kind of the, the shape of my little red highlight here. This muscle here is called the anconius. It is darker. You do not need to get underneath it. Just so, so that you can see it, that's all you're doing. Very similar to what we did up here with the Terrace Major. You don't get underneath it. Just see it, and that's all you have to do. All right, so I got the triceps, medial head all outlined and clean, long head and lateral head, and anconius down there at the bottom. Be really careful not to accidentally tear off the bottom end of the triceps brachii lateral head. Okay. Very good. All right, so the next step, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be tearing up a lot of this clear stuff that's covering the forearm. we got to see all of these extensor muscles. So in this dissection, it's the lateral arm, so it's all about the extensors. Later, we're going to look on the medial arm, and it's going to be about the flexors. So I'm getting underneath this white connective tissue, this fascia that covers everything. It might be a little tough. I want you to be careful. Pull this off without teasing apart the extensor muscles. So I'm going to get my probe under here, and I'm going to make sure I find that brachioradialis. I think right here I'm just pulling off that blood vessel I don't really care about. 
Oh, no, my finger's blocking. All right, let me pause this for a second so we can see. There is a muscle right here. It's called the brachialis. You're, it's kind of confusing. It's what you'd think would be your biceps. You're actually going to see your biceps on the other side. And then you can kind of see this little ribbon that's coming down. It's kind of coming like this. This is the brachioradialis. Okay, brachioradialis. So I'm going to get underneath all this stuff, peel as much of this white stuff off as possible. See, I've got a lot of this fascia that needs to come off. It's very tough. As I'm peeling it off around the elbow, I can actually start seeing a lot more detail now of the extensor muscles. I'm getting my probe underneath the brachioradialis. It's an extremely thin muscle, super easy to tear, so be careful. Some of you, if you've already tore this muscle while removing the skin from your cat, you want to go to the other side and do this dissection on the other side. Ideally, you're doing this arm dissection on the same side you did the shoulders and the abdomen and the chest. So right now, there we go. It's a nice ribbon. I work in all the way down to the wrist where we remove the fur. Some of you guys might not have removed enough fur down here, okay? If that's the case, you need to peel back more fur to be able to see um, all the way to the wrist. Okay, so I got one muscle done, the brachioradialis. The brachialis up here, you don't need to do anything to. You just need to know where it is. Once you've removed the triceps brachii lateral head, you can see the brachialis no problem. All right, the next muscle that we're looking for is the extensor carpi radialis. What I notice let me just draw this. What you really want to try to locate is this back end of it, and this back end kind of has a trumpet shape, you know, kind of like a trumpet, you know. Let me do a little music note. You know, a little trumpet coming out here, okay? So find a muscle that kind of has this shape to it. Uh, you'll see it, and that's your extensor carpi radialis. Think about radialis. It's on the radius side. So I'm working my probe underneath, and I'm going to free it up. I'm going to work back and forth. This is similar to what you had to do when you got in between the longissimus dorsi and the spinalis dorsi on the back. The only difference is you're going to be able to get completely underneath this. I want to warn you as well that down deep inside the back, um, there are some muscles that are deeper, not in the back, in, in the arm here. There are going to be deeper muscles that you don't need to worry about. Okay, We're doing the superficial lateral arm muscles. So there are going to be some muscles deeper that we're just not going to worry about in the scope of this class. And I'm peeling off more of this white stuff. That's going to be, uh, we'll worry about the inner arm on dissection number nine. That's next. But let's get the outer arm, the lateral arm done first. Okay. So you can see how I'm divvying up the extensor carpi radialis. I go all the way up to its little trumpet head up here. And then he goes all the way down. So I'm kind of freeing him up. There you go, I've got my probe all the way underneath the extensor carpi radialis. Okay, the next two extensors I'm going to locate is the extensor digitorum communis. It runs down like that. And then the extensor digitorum lateralis. And then finally, the extensor carpi ulnaris. What we'll do is speed up this process here, just kind of get through this. Four times speed. All right, there's the extensor carpi, extensor digitorum communis. There we go. Now we'll work on the extensor digitorum lateralis. And be careful, there are deeper muscles that we don't need to dissect and tease apart. We're just going to leave them alone. In order to see them, we'd have to cut these muscles and transect them, but we're not going to do that. Very nice. So I've got both of my uh, extensor digitorums, communis and lateralis. Okay, and then the last one down here at the bottom is the extensor carpi ulnaris. It's by the ulna, so it's at the very bottom side here, if that makes sense. All right, so now we're back in slow-mo. 
let's see if we can see all the muscles that we should know at this stage here. Now let's go with green. All right, so there's this muscle here. This is the brachialis. You have this muscle here, which is the triceps brachii lateral head. This muscle back here, triceps brachii long head. You might be able to see a little bit of a muscle showing there, the triceps brachii medial head. Over here is the anconius. We then have the brachioradialis, the extensor carpi radialis, the extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis, and extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay? These are all the muscles that you're going to see here on the lateral arm for dissection number eight. So you can see I'm just kind of bringing everything up. And that is the finished dissection. Should look something like this. We can get between each of those muscles. And we're there again. We're back at the end. Alrighty. So, place we're starting, we're going to start up here with the triceps muscles. Cut the triceps brachii lateral head in half. Reveal the anconius and the triceps medial head. We'll see the brachialis. We'll get that brachioradialis done first, and then we'll work on all those extensor muscles. All right, good luck, and we'll see you guys in class for the dissection.